Hello guys, in this video, I will show you this cool amazing Mustool MT826 digital multimeter. This is sent to me by Banggood for the review purpose. Thank you for sending me Banggood. Now we will see the outer box. Here we will see the Mustool brand name and this is a model number. These are the basic features is contained. 6000 counts, auto manual ranging, true RMS, uh, DC and AC voltage and uh, DC and AC currents, resistance, capacitance, frequency, temperature, diode test, transistor test, continuity, bar graph display, USB data interface, relative measurement, data hole and silicon test leads. And we'll keep the side, so nothing there. Here is a code, enjoy your work now and it's the back side of the case so here it's stated the model name and this has the main specifications and usb interface auto manual range switching button frequency due to ratio switch button centigrade and foreign heat switch buttons these each buttons are indicated here and uh, fifth one this is a relative measurement usb switch and sixth one is a function selection button and seventh one is a uh, backlight and a whole data switch and uh, eighth one is uh, maximum and minimum value measurements switch and ninth one is rotatory switch this is the rotator knob and uh, tenth one is uh, these are four input jacks now we will unbox it so before unboxing you can see here uh, this is a standard accessories which comes with uh, this is a bag and this is a temperature measurement probe and a USB data cable and these are test leads this is a multi-purpose uh, socket for transistor and the diode testing you can also test the resistance capacitance there and their battery and the user manual and the software now we'll unbox it Here are guys, it's come with uh, good quality waterproof bag, it's uh, waterproof, strong enough, okay, can we unzip it, here we can see the user manual, and the software data, this And this is a warranty code from Mustool. So I think this is the test leads cable. Yeah, we have caps for it for protection. And these are the leads. Here's your cap 3000 volts cable. If you remove this, you can see here cap 2000 volts cable. Uh, this can be helpful for preventing short circuits while testing okay this is a multi-purpose socket multi function socket socket and uh, here are the indication pins are given indication pins and you can test here the mpn transistor and pnp transistors is uh, according to the pins you can calculate collector base emitter and collector base emitter in here positive and negative terminals you can test the capacitors and resistance just there okay so we'll copy now uh, this is the temperature probe you can see here yeah it's actually a thermocouple temperature probe made of good quality okay and uh, it's a usb cable to interface with the computer this packer so now time to open the multimeter it's a strong enough to, it's a looks like solid device 
still can move it as well. Insert the battery first. Okay, it look like handy device. It is a flip uh, to keep like this. Okay, so buttons are so much pressy and looks solid. Okay, here it's given the warning symbol to avoid electrical shock. Remove the test leads before opening the case. Okay. To prevent the fire installation, install a fuse with the amp volt readings shown. This is the here shown the fuse readings. The one is a 600 milliamps to 250 volts, and then there is a, a 10 milli 10 amps for 250 volts. Okay, guys, don't forget to raise the user manual before using this. So user manual. You can see here. Safety measurements, overview, measurement of operations, the auto power off function, uh, backlight function, data hold, and uh, general technique specifications, accuracy specification. Now we will go with the accuracy. Now it's the uh, 33rd page. You can see here. If you're in DC voltage, if you're calculating the range of 60 millivolts, the resolution will be 0.01 millivolts, and uh, the accuracy will be the plus or minus 0.7 of the total reading. Now we will discuss this something brief about this device. This is a 2 RMS voltmeter, means more accurate to show the real time measured value. Body is made of fireproof. Okay material and press resistance deep drop test resistance means can be dropped from 3 meters without damage okay it's equipped with the usb interface so we can measure the data and upload it to the computer for further record analysis the total weight of this device is uh, 410 grams now we will add the battery to it okay or safety case and remove these screws okay remove this here you can see the batteries these are y2 current here These are the four batteries we are inserting now. Screws like this. Screws like this. And screws like this. And this. Okay, I am packing the device. Okay. Now we will turn on the device. Wow. It's all set. Okay. This is the hole and the display lighting function. We will press for a long time and the display will glow here. Okay. Now I am plugging the probes here and the red one goes to the red here and uh, green goes to black and goes to black. Okay. Hold then I will be holding. Okay. 
the data is really much fluctuating here we can see without connecting the data we can see some fluctuations there okay now i'm testing this bad for 9 volts battery it's uh, set to the dc auto range if you want to change the range you can press this and change the range see here the decimal point is moving now to reset this um, again press the range it will come to the reset state okay now i am measuring the voltage of this battery so 9 volt battery now this is set to the dc mode and auto range now plus to the plus and minus to the minus we can see here 9.38 volts 9.37 okay you can also see here this bar graph there it's stuck to the 9 okay we can touch the another battery now okay this battery is red it is uh, 0 0.4 volts it seems okay if you want to change this to millivolts you can set to the millivolts see here you can see here's the symbol millivolts here and if you want to check the hedges we can check hedges then due to ratio and frequency and if you want to test the continuity test on capacitance rest and uh, dial and the resistance rest set here and uh, this is in mega ohm now change the function okay it's set to the ohm now and this is continuity mode see you can see here this sound beep sound will be appear here okay okay you can see this now i am hurting this you can hear this sound so zero ohms okay it's fine now i am changing to the function changing the function now it says to the diode testing now i am taking the diode this and testing this see the tension voltage is uh, 0.568 so that is working if you flip the diode zero no connective there okay now we uh, will check in the capacitance now now i'm taking the capacitors is a positive one goes to the positive negative one goes to the negative you can see here it's automatically set to the microfarads the 1.236 microfarads is showing it's actually uh, the value is uh, one microfarad you can see here on the display so one microfarad is 3 volts and uh, it's uh, showing me that okay you can see here this is showing the 1.234 microfarad mm, okay you can change the function now to test the and now we will test the resistance there okay this is a 100k resistor and now we will test the temperature remove these probes and now i am keeping this temperature probes there Now set the with temperature. This one centigrade. It's a black one goes to black. Okay. So here is gradually increasing temperature as I. and leave with this now the temperature is decreasing you can change to Fahrenheit by pressing this key here it's a 91 degrees Fahrenheit now 
the HFE. Before going to HFE, uh, we will go to the current current setting. Now I am pressing this com to the black or another red to the red. Okay, these are the pops. Now you set to the micro amps there. If you are testing in the micro amps and milliamps, we have to remove this cable here and you have to keep there for the current testing oh, for only micro amps and milliamps. If you are using the uh, for testing the current at an ampere reading, then set to the probe to the 10 amps range. So maximum range is 10 amps, and if you are using the micro amps and milliamps, we have to set here. Now we'll go with this this function multifunctional socket. You can see here this is input and this is com. Like that you have to keep there. Input and com. Okay. If you are now we'll test the each and everything uh, once again. Okay. Setting to the this uh, okay. It's ohms. I'm setting this to the ohms and uh, once again I will test this resistance here. I am pressing this in this probe. You can see here this is accurately showing the 100.5 kilo ohms. This is actually 100 kilo ohms, it is showing 100.5 kilo ohms. Uh, it's weird because the tolerance of the resistance weighs as it is going showing the gold plate line is the tolerance of 5 percent okay now we change this functionality now set to the continuity test we already tested to continuity test and now the diode test okay now i am pressing the zener diode here i am flipping it there see you can see here the 0.718 Voltage in the dial. Okay. Now we'll test the capacitance test. This is a capacitor of one microfarad and 63 volts. And this positive one goes to the positive, and uh, negative goes to the negative. Flipping this device. Yeah. Yeah, you can see here's 1.117 microfarad. Okay, you can also see the bar graph here. And now, if we if I have to test the HFE, the amplification factor of the transistor. Now, if you are the using the NPN transistor, you have to place here the collector pin to the here, and the base pin to the here, and the emitter pin to the here. In the C indicates the collector B indicates the base and E indicates the emitter. For PNP transistor, if you have to test, then you have to piece, uh, we have to place the three pins here. And this one is for collector and this for base and this for emitter. Okay. Now, what you can now we'll see in this function button here, our range button here, and a hedge for to calculate the frequencies, and this is the maximum minimum voltage variances for and this for real time turn on for whole now we are checking this whole button we will remove this and uh, keep the probe this way right probe okay now set this to voltage now i am taking this battery and i am testing the voltage now showing me the 9.37 volts and press the relative button okay now this will be the set to the zero and take this battery and press the leads showing the minus 8.96 volts that mean it, this battery is lesser than this percent volt okay now we will off this remove this and now we will unbox the casing of this okay
can see here the metal layer coating is the anti interface layer to get the more accurate data and here you can see the usb interfacing module and uh, this is a usb interfacing module and you can see here the ir receiver receiver data and this is a uh, ir led and uh, Here you can see the uh, transmitter. If you are if you are moving this from here to there, you can wirelessly contact with this module. You can wirelessly contact with this module, and this data is transmitted to this from this LED to this LED. Okay. This is our high voltage capacitors. There's two fuses are given as shown in this. Uh, these are uh, two ceramic catawire explosion. It is uh, better useful. And this is a piezoelectric buzzer to for the continuity test. And these are some resistors and these capacitors are indicated are resistors and uh, C indicator are the capacitors. Now we fix this. see you can see here this so probes are given to keep the probe like this for while testing here okay if you want to test like this um you can test like this okay Cool design. Especially USB interfacing of the device. Behind here, here, I install the software. This uh, DMM data logger from the disk they give you. And I am opening it right now. In the meantime, turn on the device. Connect the USB port there to the device and now to computer. Okay, I connected it. Now, what you do need to do is now press this USB button for long press. You can see this USB here and you know to get uh, you have to go to start then you can see on display of the system you can see here the digital multimeter real time data there now i am connecting the uh, probes to the battery here i can think probes this actually showing the nine point is showing 9.40 you know we can see the real time the real time graphs also here see here the graphs are going when i remove the data here and I remove the probe it falls to zero yeah you can see in the graph when i uh, printed the probe you can see the highlighted output there you can see the peaks here and you can see the data logging also the real time so 9.40 it's recorded in this time like that now we'll finally discuss something about this this is a pretty much uh, well designed multimeter with uh, multitasking features the lagging of this uh, multimeter is uh, only the inductance test it doesn't have the inductance reading testing so it's the backlog of this uh, everything is good and fine. It's the best one between the price of 40 to 60 dollars. This uh, costs about the 50 bucks. It's uh, very much good compared to the other multimeters. 
and the accuracy also is uh, good with the uh, high stability without uh, noise interference okay best to buy gadget mm, the links are in description you can buy it there um, this all everything about this multimeter